entrepreneurs, and professionals of Tampa Bay. Welcome to your hour for getting the information, the tools, and the connections for elevating your business. Welcome to Getting the Edge with Kelly Wilson. And here's your host, Kelly Wilson. Welcome to Getting the Edge. I'm your host, Kelly Wilson. Thank you so much for joining us today. I um, and We are enjoying very much going out into the community and talking with amazing community le leaders that have just stepped in and done astonishing things with uh, the organizations they represent. And I, I, I'm so happy to be here with Jessica Muroff with United Way Suncoast. Yes. Thank you. You know, I was just thinking, we just were talking about the last time we had seen each other was right. at the event, February um, 2020. And it was actually the next month, I think, that yes. the world kind of shut down. That's but right. you were at, you were very new it, like a, Brand new. just a few months yes, into that position at the months, time. Yeah. So, wow. I mean, just you had no idea what you were walking into. No, no. You know, I, or, or what I can only, I didn't even think about that. Your yeah. life has, I can only imagine how it's, and then on top of that, you're, we're, we're much alike. We don't take the easy no. way out. You've, you've <laughs> done many other things and gone to school. And yeah. so, so how has the last year <laughs> and a half been of Jessica Muraz? Really hard, yes. <laughs> really, really hard. It, I, you know, the analogy I use constantly is that I feel like we have been driving a car down the highway going 85 miles an hour and changing the tires while we're doing it. Yeah. Like it just, I mean, w you have to keep focused on your day-to-day -day mission and our work, which we've done. Mm -hmm. But then we also add on top of that, you know, responding to the crisis that we're all facing right now with the pandemic. And so um, when that day came in March, Within a matter of like 48 hours, we decided complete robot workforce, transitioned everyone to be working from home, and then um, launching a COVID-19 response and recovery fund and raised um, almost $2 million in a matter of six weeks and started this rapid grant funding process um, to partner with 75 nonprofit organizations. And it was really important at that time because that's when we were, you know, canceling events and fundraisers, oh, yeah. but yet we were also having um, an increased demand and need for services. Mm -hmm. So I was really proud of our community, of our business community, for our donors for stepping up and supporting us when we were in the real thick of it. But now we know we're here, what, a year and a half later almost, and we're still dealing with the impacts and implications yeah. from this pandemic. And so that's where our day-to-day -day work um, is what really matters and, um, and why it's so important that we kept, you know, elevating and raising the bar and doing more to support our partners. Right. It, and we would have all hoped that we would be in a much different position, yes. you know, at this point this year at, at you know, in this last quarter of yes. 2021. Uh, but what, wow, what, that's quite the challenge that, yeah. that you really stepped into without even realizing. But that's, you know, I, I think you almost live for that, knowing. Oh, that, no, yeah. yes. If, <laughs> if you have not, make sure you check out the story. I, again, I was honored to have an opportunity to sit down and, and get to know you a little better. And so if you have not, check out uh, Jessica's article on our website. But it's, you, you really set yourself up for challenges. And, and yes. you know, stopping by, we, we definitely, you know, you want to talk about the organization. I. I think it, it was one of the few that I found, although you see so many collaborate, mm -hmm. but that, uh, you know, this organization actually raises so much additional fun, you know, just to spread out amongst the community. Yes. That, so that you can all work together. And I just think that's, yeah. quite, you know, it's, it's amazing. Right. That's our model. Yes. I mean, um, you know, we were, our organization was founded over a hundred years ago. It was a, a, a rabbi, a minister, two priests and a woman. And it sounds like the beginning of a bad joke, but it wasn't. They came together to, <laughs> to do better for the community. And so United Way, I mean, it's in our name. We unite. And yeah. so we, there's nothing that we do that is by ourselves or in a vacuum, it is always in partnership with others. And so that is that is at the very heart of everything we do. You know, I think obviously I've, I've had, I, I think the, the the leader of these type of organizations, mm -hmm. you know, I think they, they set uh, a tone that, mm -hmm. that you know, obviously there's a, a culture already established, yeah. but, but, you know, as they identify those to fill those roles, you know, I just think how, um, how, how wonderful it is. I wish I had a better way to say that, but that, mm -hmm. that you came in at this time, I just feel like it was, you know, you needed to be here for that moment, you mm -hmm. know, to guide the organization through, you know, and, yeah. uh, you know, don't even think we realize sometimes at that time, mm -hmm. you know, kind of what's going on, but, mm -hmm. yes. uh, but you had like almost been preparing. 
yes. for that well, I without mean, even knowing. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I, I love me a good challenge. And, <laughs> and there's, you know, you never, you know, I don't know who said that, the, the quote. I think it might have been Churchill, but, you know, you, you don't ever let a good crisis go to waste. Yeah. And so, and, and I don't, and I certainly think that we have um, tried to use this opportunity to really elevate awareness and conversation about our Alice families. And so that is an acronym that stands for Asset Limited, Income Constrained, and Employed. And so these are working families, families and individuals who have jobs, but still do not make enough money to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And 43% of our region um, fall within that Alice threshold. Now that was before, before COVID hit. So you can only, our new numbers are gonna come out, our new study is gonna come out in early 2022. 43%. So 43%. So if you think about that, and that was before COVID, mm -hmm. and so I can, I can only imagine, and my, my stomach, I get twingy in my stomach thinking about what that's going to look like when the numbers, when we, when we come back it's out like with them. 75, or do you think I higher? I, I, don't oh think, I don't think that high. But, oh, I hope not. But, um, but the, the point being is that we always talked about how these individuals or families were one, you know, medical issue, one maybe, you know, a significant car accident or car issue away from being financially thrown off course. Mm -hmm. Well, the pandemic was a tsunami that has impacted everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's really um, given us the opportunity to talk about um, how many families and individuals are struggling and how important it is for our programs and our partners to keep doing the work that we're doing to get them um, upskilled and reskilled into higher paying jobs mm -hmm. and to, giving, to helping them with the, giving them the tools that they need to have a more financially stable future or even starting from the beginning which is making sure they have the, the, the best education possible to, for that future success for them. I, I have so many ideas and just running through my head right now as you're talking about things, there's, um, it, I just think it, it's phenomenal because I, again, it, it 43%, that is, it's just, it, it's bothersome yeah. when you really think about it. Yeah. And, you know, I do think it, it, it is our job as far as, uh, you know, just a part of the community to do what we can. And, and uh, anyway, it's yeah. and I'm just so excited to see, you know, just how uh, well you've done in Thank this you. year and just, you know, you seem great, happy. And, mm -hmm. and it's funny as you tell, talk about Alice and I want to talk about that a little more. Actually, um, Ernest was on recently yes. and he was on he came to the studio and uh, we talked about it. He was shocked that I knew what Alice because I asked about the Alice report and he was like, how would you know about the Alice? You know, he was just well, shocked that I knew. Know about the yes, Alice you do. And, and exactly. That's what he said. And I said, well, I, I was astonished that, that you had a, such a, a yes. thing and the fact that you were monitoring these families and where they were and and what you could implement to help. I, I, you know, I, I was and anyway, so we talked yeah. about you quite a bit, and, and he does anyway. He was excited just to have and be aboard. You know, I, he, oh, we're so lucky oh, yeah. to have Ernest he, on our team. Yeah, we have just the just the best team. I'm I'm very. I was going to say compliment yeah. you as well. <laughs> Thank uh, you. It, it seems like you brought yeah. uh, Bimitra as well. I, right, but she's transitioning today. Is her last day? Oh, I, okay. yes. She is going to be. You know, I mean, when we have great talent, um, it's, right. it's you're it's awesome to see them go and do big things. Mm -hmm. But she's. She's leaving us to become the CEO of um, the Tampley Partnership. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness! Big, yes, big time. Yeah, yeah. Is that um, well, good for her. Yeah, yeah, I, I just, and I'm not even sure what banking. Um, I don't even remember. It might even been back from years ago. I just, I don't know that we've met. Yeah. I just remember oh, her she's from. Awesome. She could um, be a future, future part of your show. She should be. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I will I'll definitely have to have to reach out. Yeah. And no, there's so many amazing. I, I have had so much fun. I, we were just talking about how many shows now on edge that, I mean, we have over a hundred and the opportunity to sit down mm -hmm. and, and share stories, uh, and, you know, and, and it's not all, you know, fluff. It, yeah. It's really original and, and authentic. And I am, I'm honored that everyone kind of just, uh, uh, is, 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 is original, yeah. you know, as they talk, and I think they feel comfortable being able to do so. So what was school like over, over the, the summer yeah. and on top of <laughs> yes, uh, I decided. leading an organization? <laughs> yeah, I, I was the, maybe it was just a little bit too, I don't know, um, uh, uh, ambitious, but I thought I'm not having like evening events or like a lot of weekend commitments. Like I'm at home, you know, I'm working from home, but I'm at mm -hmm. home. So I, um, I started a graduate program um, in strategic foresight at the University of Houston. Um, and it's a, it was a year long program. And so it started in August and ended just this past May. 
it was absolutely phenomenal. It really um, pushed the boundaries of my thought process and critical thinking and ways of how we, um, we look at the potential outcomes for the future and being better at planning to that end. Um, so I absolutely loved the program and um, glad it's over though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. Deadlines too, when, when you're kind of confined yes. to, to performing by certain deadlines on top of your already obligations, it can be a lot. Yes. But, but yes. Um, yeah, well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I was, I love the, your uh, your charisma and personality, and you, you definitely are inspiring, encouraging to so many others. And you set a goal for yourself every year. So yes. what has been the goal this year? Because I hadn't talked to you since last year. So, well, I guess I should ask, how did last year go? Um, <laughs> last year didn't go well. <laughs> I was going to say, it probably didn't. But she did. Um, there was acting one year. You, yes, you took acting yes, classes. Yes. Then one, the next year, it was writing. Yeah. Or, well, no, that was what I was what I was going to do last year. So now I have my Be Courageous project, and so every year I always pick something intentionally to push outside of my comfort zone. It something that it's a skill that perhaps I want to develop, or something I've never done before, but a challenge. Yeah. And the. At the onset of 2020, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just encourage everybody to do this with me. And we had this whole group come together and do this. And That's then right. three months later, you know, the pandemic hits and that just it kind of just went off the rails. But um, no, I got a horse and I was going to do barrel racing. That's what it was. Yes. And it's in yeah. the article. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Well, yeah, I have my horse, but we we haven't done the barrels. Um, right. And it just wasn't. Well, the world shut down right, right after that. Right. So. right. It, did not, it did not work out. A wonderful time with my family, um, with having the horse. So that's so all good. I, I, have you been ballroom dancing, or, or no. is that no, is that next? <laughs> no, no. I, I always think that's in the future somehow. No, I, I already no. no. I have I have next year. We gotta we gotta figure out how to make it happen. But we're gonna do Everesting. So we're gonna. Um, it is a where you climb a mountain. I think it's about thirteen times to do the same exact mm -hmm. feat as Everest. Yeah, I've so. heard. Yeah, I'm I'm intrigued by yeah. it. I don't know that I I I don't know. You never know. I'll never say never, but it, it is intriguing to me. Yeah. And the idea of cold, I dislike very much. But there is something about Everest, and then yeah. you know, working towards something like that. That yeah. That yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But. I, I was I was looking for a physical challenge for yeah. next year. So I love that. That yeah. it that the idea of not being able to breathe the higher you get up as you if you were at to actually like try to you know, I think I'd get to base camp. If I could just get to base camp <laughs> base I, camp in even in and of itself yeah, is exactly. Yeah. So that to me, you know, yeah. you know, I might set realistic goals for myself. I'm not sure if I'm gonna <laughs> or whatever. But good for you. Yeah. So do you plan then to try? Will you attempt Everest at some point? Oh god, no. No, no there's no, no way. Yeah. Oh, I don't no, want to no. die. <laughs> <laughs> well, they will all die. I know. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. I mean, I, I literally think the whole process takes months. I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, know. I think you go in May. May is about the only time I think of the year that depending on which side of Everest you go to, I think. It's yeah. I, but I've heard. And you it's know, too many people. Oh, I don't know how I, it is now. It but. is a lot of people who, who attempt it. Um, but, but I've heard some speakers who've done it and. Super, I mean, just super inspirational, but not for me. Yeah, you know, I had frozen toes, and you yeah. know, and yeah, no, it, yeah, not for me. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I said it's something that I admire when we, you know. But so, where, where do you do the, the, the pre? Yes, yeah. So it's um, they have mountains that they do it in. I think it's Utah, um, mm. Vermont, <laughs> and um, and I forget the other place. Um, they, have, they usually have three locations and you can, it, so it depends on just the timing. I'll have to look, but it's not snow. It is, it is just, it's, it's, it's not in snow season. So it's not, and it's not a technical climb. It's literally just, it's, it's hiking, climbing. A little more gradual. Like, like more, but, right. Yeah, you know, I still think I, it's, it's, it's challenging, but it's not a technical climb where I don't have crampons. I'm not roped up. I don't have a nice, a nice, uh, you know, a nice axe right, to right. self-arrest. <laughs> You know, all of those, <laughs> those other safety right. mechanisms that you need when you're doing it, mm -hmm. you know, a climb like, you know, a I've done a technical climb before, but it's not that. Yeah. It's, um, it's the mental challenge of yeah. doing that, that much climbing in a condensed period of time. I've been the last, uh, well, the last so many years on like a discovery uh, challenge of my own, just, uh, did, you know, to get to a place. And I think I've, I, it took me many years, but you know, like where an athlete would be before they go for a game or, you know, where you... I don't know, over time, 
we have we, you can create so much mental power for ourselves yes. and and uh, just discipline. Yeah, and right, exactly. And when you work with that, and it's uh, it, it is practice mm -hmm. like anything that we do. And mm -hmm. so that's kind of been uh, my ongoing yeah. um, challenge for myself the last decade. And it's just been fun as you learn, yeah. uh, learn and, and grow. I think pushing ourselves yeah. to the, the you know to the ultimate because yeah. I don't how how else do we know. What we're capable of, right? Right. If unless we're constantly pushing and trying right. to be and better, challenging our limits. Yeah. Yep. And so you have two daughters, right? Or two daughters and two bonus sons. Right. Yes. And they are doing amazing things. And yes. Dan, they are. Yeah. I yes. see a post. Yeah. It's you're a proud, they are. proud mama. Yes. They're both. They're both fantastic girls. All, all of How them. old are the two girls now? They're 13 and 15. Okay. Yeah. So. Wow, oh my goodness. So it's so funny, and I'll tell the story because we didn't know one another. No, and, we ran into each other at Starbucks. Yes, and of course, I just start talking to people. Right. So, so, so Jessica's in the line next to me, and we're on the West Shore, yeah. um, yes. and, and just waiting, and we just start talking, and, and it was, it, just time goes so fast. It does. And it's just, you know, I, obviously there's, there's a reason, you know, yeah. for everything. We, um, I'd love to talk more, and we'll reach out soon. We've got, through a lot of what I've done and, and the book that's upcoming, it led me to uh, I'll be organizing and initiating a humanitarian effort for uh, next year, and uh, the spring of next year, actually. And so it's funny, as I sit here, I realize why I'm sitting here you know, now, because I just think, uh, well, we work, I work so closely with all the nonprofits, but we'd love yeah. to get you involved. And uh, it's a fundraiser where... Um, we're actually going to pledge a moment of, of silence is what I'm going to try to initiate. And we want like a walkathon. People okay. pledge to be a part of it. And but I want them to pledge for a cause. Mm -hmm. Right. Or what are they what are they pausing for? I, I want to try to take back whatever power, you know, I think that we might have as humans and and just, um, you know, uh, again, try to make whatever difference we can. But uh, it we want everybody to, to pick a cause and United Way actually covers so many so many causes. So anyway, it, we're still at the beginning stages of it and developing the app and getting it all ready. But awesome. um, it really is. And I hope, I don't know, I just, I, my hope is that we can all be a little nicer to each other and yes. maybe just reconsider, you know, the overall what humanity means. Right. You know? Well, that's exactly, that's a core part of our mission too. Um, and, and really, really focusing on how do we connect with volunteers, our community, so that they can get in, involved mm -hmm. and be a part of change and be driving that themselves and cool. being intimately involved mm -hmm. in our mission in so many ways or with our partners. Um, I mean, what I do love now, if you go to our website, um, if you didn't know this, you can register to be a volunteer. And then we literally have all of the, for families, for individuals, you know, cause I get asked all the time, I wanna take, I wanna go volunteering, but with my kids, but I don't know where, who accepts right. kids. Um, you know, and so this, we have all of those opportunities listed out by date and there, and we, we, there's a few times a year where we actually do coordinated projects. We just did one last week for our 9-11 day of service and we did a whole week of them. We had oh. over 200 volunteers activated in the community, um, and different, you know, events, but we have virtual volunteering. We have volunteering where we can bring everything to your place of business and do the volunteer activity right. with you. Within the business yep. as well. And, and let me just say, and, and even as an individual, it, it, sometimes I think we get so caught up in our own problems. Yep. If, if you would try to just give, up, give back and help, you get your mind off of things. Yes. And then giving back and helping others, it, it, it really is overwhelming positive for yourself as well oh my gosh and it's I, so good for your mental health right sitting in and dwelling on on problems and that's kind of what we I hope to do is to get yeah. people uh, just to kind of focus more on uh, looking within yep. to finding their own answers other than being so um, overtaken yes by you know other uh, false yes. you know uh, so I don't know I'm on a mission <laughs> I'm just getting I started. It. So I love it. That's great. It, it, That's you know, a great mission to be on. Thank you. I mean, it, again, it's like taking that moment where I, I just believe everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And I think where there's a little bit of good we can take out of every bad. Yes. You know, so yes. anyway, well, it's great to see you. It's you, great to see you. You're glowing you. like you're Miss Sunshine with your, <laughs> the yellow. I love it. It's a rainy, <laughs> gloomy day outside. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And and you're just, yeah. It's, it's so great to spend time with you. Yeah, likewise. It's um, It's been a long I, it, it's crazy. Yeah. It's just time's gone so fast and I it's know. been way too long. We're but in that time vortex of COVID right now. I know. So. Well, thank you for everything <laughs> you. that you do for our community. And I just can only imagine how fortunate and how lucky and how grateful, you oh. know, the Oregon Suncoast is for you. Oh, so. thank you. All thank right. You. Well, we'll come back that. and we'll talk soon. Okay. 
And uh, wow, yeah. And the event, you're going to come. Well, this will be after that, but yes. we'll I'll see you soon. Yes. Okay. Thank All right. You. Well, more information on the United Way Suncoast, please check out their website. Do look into becoming a volunteer, even even as far as businesses. Uh, you can get the whole family, the whole business, uh, get get everybody involved. And again, it, it you know get get your mind off of you and go focus on someone else. It all it makes us all feel better. So, until next time, never stop dreaming. We'll see you soon. Thanks.